Uh, CNN's Howard Kurtz uh, talking about a new Pew Research poll, which shows not only that Democrats have a much more favorable opinion than Republicans of network TV news and national newspapers. Well, why wouldn't they? They see their own views and biases mirrored there every day, and Republicans don't. But also that, even among Republicans, those who watch Fox News are more likely to have an unfavorable view of other news sources. Duh. Why do you think Fox exists? It's called discernment. People who watch Fox never trusted those other sources, and we're looking around for something to watch. Clarence, is it possible that Fox is influencing its viewers uh, on what they think of the media, or do they already distrust the media, and that's why? He is a moron. Why they gravitate toward Fox. Well, obviously, CNN viewers are, are more broad-minded and more enlightened, I say, here on CNN. Uh, but in, in fact, Howard, I, I find this whole poll to be remarkably unsurprising. Uh, I've known Roger Ailes for years, who, uh, who really launched uh, Fox News with the marketing idea that we are the alternative to all that, uh, as you mentioned, the, the quote, Dan Rather uh, news that you're going to find every place else. Right. We're the only fair and balanced folks. And obviously, that's having a, 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 an effect for them. Now, uh, at that moment, uh, after hearing a little sensible information from Clarence Page, uh, Howard Kurtz decided it was time to go talk to the reporter from National Public Radio. And Angry Rich, I'm betting that she says, geez, you know, Clarence Page is right. I guess Ailes was right. I mean, because it just makes so much sense. I'm going to go all for nothing on no. Okay. Let me get Brooke last on the last 20 seconds on this. Right. There's a, there's a media phenomenon called uh, incestuous amplification, mm. where if you only talk to the people who already agree with you, if you only gather in communities who share your entire mm. point of view, then the more extreme positions get noisier like and noisier. Well, that explains NPR. She just explained I, NPR I, I, for I, everyone. Good, thank you. Well, I'll take it back. NPR is not the worst offender in that department. I mean, the BBC clearly is. But among American media outlets. Like uh, Bathtub Boy Show. He only books people that agree with him. Well, because he's never been a reporter. He's never been an interviewer. Should he get somebody who is fairly contrary, all he knows how to do is sulk and then go back to his office and write something really nasty about them that he reads to the prompter so well. August 3rd, John Edwards is called, quote, the Breck girl and, quote, the biggest fraud running for president, quote, by John Gibson on Fixed News Radio. Hmm. But she was describing him. Exactly. To the T. But I'm not saying he's a pussy because it will only put people on that agree with him. But she was, in a sense, describing him in his show. Of course she was. Her line was... An echo chamber. There's a media phenomena called incestuous amplification, where if you only talk to the people who already agree with you, then the more extreme positions get noisier and noisier. Daily Coast, Think Progress, Bathtub Boys Show. Right. Now, does Bathtub Boy put on people on television who are clearly opposed to his thoughts? Never. Uh, I mean, people come on my show all the time who you know, regularly abuse me for, for my thinking. And Tonight, for example, every single guest we had on. Ah, feel the love. You have so much blood on your hand, John. It is ridiculous. You and Rush Limbaugh are the devil, <laughs> and, and they're bringing down this country. The last six years, you've sold a pack of lies to this country, and now it's brought this country down to its knees. And there's going to be revenge for this nonsense, okay, John? There's going to be revenge. John Gibson. John, you little Nazi. On Fox News Talk. The worst organization in the world, the Fox News Organization. Oh, no. 